Hello, welcome to the channel. Today we're going to talk about uh, concrete estimating. Here we're looking at a 3D model of uh, strip footing and uh, foundation wall. So the formwork for the footing apparently will happen on the long direction covering two sides. Uh, we're not going to put any formwork on the top because this is where the concrete is supposed to come from. And uh, we're not going to put anything out of the bottom for the formwork uh, because this is where the soil or the bearing surface will be. The two short ends, we might need formwork. For example, uh, in the case of construction joint, uh, let's look at uh, the spreadsheet. Uh, first of all, uh, probably concrete volume is easy to do. So we'll do this one first. Uh, the volume is just the three dimensions multiplied together. Although in order to get to cubic yard, you will have to divide by 27. For the form work, it is two sides times the long direction times the height. This will be the majority of the quantity. However, if you decide to form the ends, uh, you can also add two ends. Uh, the short direction will be the length, width times the depth. So whichever you prefer. Uh, I think 84 will be the maximum square footage we're looking at for the former contact area. Let's uh, copy those formula down and also summarize them at the bottom. Let's look at a model for pad footing supporting a steel column. In this case, uh, our Volume will be really simple, just to multiply all three dimensions, you will get the volume. Uh, as far as the form work, we will have to form every side vertically around the pad footing. But we don't form the top. Again, we don't form the bottom. For our spreadsheet, all we have to do for the volume is just uh, taking all three dimensions, but don't forget the number of pads. Uh, multiply everything that you have, then divide by 27 to get to the cubic yards. For form work, what do we do is to take the number of pads, then go around each pad, essentially means we are trying to calculate the perimeter of the pad from the top. So length and width times two will give you the perimeter. And then in order to do, get the vertical area, uh, you will have to time the depths. So we're gonna copy those formulas down and also summarize out of the bottom. Next, we're going to look at the spreadsheet to calculate the formwork and the concrete for foundation wall. Uh, we have additional column, which is the wall area. This one is not really for construction purpose. It's just uh, for our information uh, indicating the length of the wall times the height of the wall, right? 40 feet and 10 feet. You're looking at 400 square feet of the wall. So really simple mass. Uh, we can do that really quickly. Uh, for the formwork, remember the 3D model we looked at, just like a strip footing we have, uh, the wall, most of the wall formwork area will be the two vertical sides along the long direction 
if necessary, we can also add the ends because not all the walls will be done in a single day. Let's put in the formula, you need two sides of the wall. So really, you can just take the area of the wall and then times two uh, if you don't have to form the ends. But if you do, then what you do is just uh, double click on the formula and then we are going to add two more small sides. Right? And uh, that will be the thickness and the height. Uh, you get, you're getting a little bit more, but not too much. Uh, as far as the volume, uh, really simple. You can just take all three dimensions and multiply them together. Right. Or you can even take the area we did uh, and then time the thickness. That's all you really need. Uh, then after you're done, just uh, copy the formula and uh, summarize everything above. Finally, we look at the uh, slab. Uh, today, we are only going to talk about the slab on grade, uh, not something like a suspended slab. Uh, the concrete is really simple. All you have to do is just uh, take all three dimensions and multiply. Uh, however, some of the slab thickening, uh, you will have to allow some extra, uh, but that depends on the construction detail. Uh, also, the formwork, usually the formwork for slab on grid will be around the edge. However, again, you will have to look at the construction detail on the drawing and also verify that with the field condition. Because if the slab goes against another structural element like the foundation wall, then probably will not need edge formwork anymore. Uh, in some cases uh, where you have a second edge, then you will have to allow a little bit deeper for the edge formwork. Spread a sheet for the slab. Uh, the new column is slab area. What do we meant is the surface area on the top. Uh, we didn't need this information because in addition to the formwork and the concrete placement, Eventually, we also have to cure and finish the slab surface. So the mass is just the length times the width. Formwork would we'll take uh, the perimeter of the slab. So in this case, it would be two times uh, the length plus the width uh, with the bracket uh, multiplied by the thickness. Uh, that means we are going around every side of the slab. The volume, you can take all three dimensions and multiply them together. Or just like a wall, we could take the area of the slab times the thickness. Uh, but having said that, you will have to take this number and divide by 27 in order to get to the cubic yard. Copy down and then summarize. So this completes our short introduction to concrete estimating. We looked at footings, pads, walls, and slabs. Hopefully you learned something uh, through this simple video. Uh, if you want to, you can subscribe to the channel for future updates. We'll see you next time.